Hello everyone, it's Sandra here and we're looking in on Eat My Shorts. Several things that we've been noticing in Eat My Shorts is we've done a recent harvest. Uh, so that's one thing. Uh, so we want to look in on the bedding and see how that looks. We also want to take a look at the pill bug population. It was starting to creep up and although there's a couple there. Although I don't mind pill bugs, you know, I've never had them get out of control in a worm bin. Uh, but this bin, for whatever reason, they've really liked breeding in it. And I think I'm getting far more pill bugs in this bin than I've ever had in any of my other bins. You know, I'm, so I'm wondering whether it was something I fed, something I said, I don't know. But uh, now that I've said that, the pill bugs have all disappeared. Let's see if we can find any trace of the pumpkin. I see a lot of castings, so I think that might be where the pumpkin's gone, is turned into these castings. Oh, 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 oh. There's what's left of this huge chunk of pumpkin. Oh, there's a couple little tiny orange um, bits of skin. So, I'm not um, I'm not going to keep this bin segregated. That's something I do that half and half thing when it when one end starts getting closer to harvest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a total bin mix. So I'm going to mix all this material, these castings that are are really close to being finished. I'm going to mix them in with the end that isn't as close to being finished. And so the bin can get a total reset. And uh, you'll see how quickly this bin will cycle because I didn't deplete its microbiome all the way. The bin will just keep rolling rather than you know, every worm have to start eating from scratch brand new um, bedding or even matured bedding that isn't their microbiome. I really do think the worms get settled into um, into the chemistry of a worm bin. I had some compaction happening there. So I'm just breaking up some compaction. I'm sorry that my arm is in the way. I'll try to get it out of your way. Let me just stir up this end. There's that piece of elastic. Yeah, I mentioned last time that I don't mind keeping it in here, uh, not for nostalgia's sake, but just because it's moist. And so it's sort of a moisture regulator in the bin. Look at this bin. It has not been long since I harvested this bin. And yet, look at this. So again, some compaction happening here. All right, so I've done a total mix-up of this bin. I've probably really annoyed the neighbors, but that has just evened out the moisture from end to end. So now I can evaluate where's a logical place to feed. Let's just even this out. And there's some more shorts material. I will use that packing paper for my bottom of my bin. And you know what I didn't see? Is I didn't see a lot of pill bugs. So, you know, when I've been checking in on this bin, you know, in the past month or so, I was seeing pill bugs running everywhere. And I'm not seeing them now. So, interesting how they might, like other bin critters, they might just regulate according to, um, the conditions of the bin. Very interesting. I'll put those little scraps of fabric that I've been finding in there. Just on the hopes that they'll be eaten. That's that another newspaper clump. There's a banana stem. And then this is the old Amazon packing paper. Just the brown. Sometimes put that through my shredder and sometimes I... Uh, I bury it in a bin like I've done just there. And here's another piece of the white shorts material from a pocket. 
All right, so today I've got a very moist feeding of pumpkin again and coffee. And I'll come back with the feeding and some new carbon. All right, so I've got the outside bit of a pumpkin that includes where the bottom was, uh, along with some coffee on top and some eggshell grit. We'll just invert that. You can see it's the top bit of a pumpkin, or I guess the very bottom bit of a pumpkin. It's going to be moist. The bin it was in was full of moisture. So I just got that one piece of Amazon packing paper underneath. So I think I'm going to put in a nice amount of shredded cardboard here just because I'm anticipating this to be a, quite a moist feeding. The moisture in this bin is fine. It's, it's uh, if anything, it's probably a little dry, so, so uh, it can stand to be a little damp. Not a problem. So, have you noticed that, that your pill bugs come and go in number? Um, have you ever noticed that they were building up and then they weren't? Uh, that's uh, that's interesting. I I know the last time I was in this bin, I was seeing a lot more than this. But interesting where they've gone. All right, everyone. That's the check-in from Eat My Shorts for today.